All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, by Shemra Kakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. And this is Sir Shalom Tata Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. Um, title of this video is America is Psychologically Traumatizing. Okay. Um, I'm going to get uh, the definition or etymology of the word psychological. Um, I'm going to get uh, some symptoms of uh, psychological trauma. And um, the Wikipedia for psychological trauma. And uh, I'm going to just start from there. Okay. And I got some scriptures. Okay. That I'm going to go through. Okay. Uh, psychological the etymology. Okay, um, which it comes from psych psychology. Okay, now the word psychology means uh, the study of the soul. Okay, and of course, got to get the word trauma. Okay, but the word psychological or psychology is the study of the soul okay it was coined around the mid 16th 16th century okay in the word psych okay it means breath spirit or soul okay and uh logi okay is a uh, study of okay the study of the spirit okay now uh this, the word trauma is a deeply distressing or disturbing experience okay um the word distress okay the, the regular definition is uh extreme anxiety sorrow or pain Okay, and then you got the etymology for distress, which is circumstance that causes anxiety or hardship. Okay, restraint, affliction, narrowness, distress. Draw apart, okay, was that, that's the word, dis, okay, and uh, stress or strain is draw together or press together. Okay, meaning anguish, grief, pain or suffering of the body or mind okay now you have a scripture okay where it talks about you know uh he that increases in knowledge um increases grief and grief okay i believe if i'm not mistaken that that is in book of ecclesiastes okay uh ecclesiastes 1 and 18 for in much wisdom is much grief grief and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow okay so as you grow in this in the spirit okay it's going to get more traumatizing okay uh it's going to be a lot of uh, extremely um, disturbing experiences. First off, we already um, have disturbing experiences, you know, before. But when you come into this truth, you start really understanding things a whole lot better. Okay? Now, the term psychological trauma, okay... Um, it's from the Wikipedia, okay, and it says, uh, psychological trauma is a type of damage to the mind that occurs as a result of a distressing event, which, once again, the term distress, okay, means a circumstance that causes anxiety or hardship, okay? And um, it boils down to the fact that 
our people didn't listen unto the Lord. Okay. We we have sinned against the Lord. Okay. So we're under uh, curses. Okay, according to Deuteronomy, the uh, 28th verse in the 15th chapter, it says, I mean the 15th, 28th chapter, 15th verse, it says, But it shall come to pass, if you will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day, that all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. And these curses have really uh came upon us and overtook us okay um and it's a lot of stuff that we um personally go through you know on individual levels that traumatizes us okay it just so happens that certain people right that you know, are Israelites, okay, whether they know that they are or not, okay, some people who, who know that, or, or some of our people, um, when that temptation comes their way, you know, they, they don't even fight it, you know, because, you know, nobody is telling them to, to fight it, for the most part, they don't know how to fight it, okay, and um, just basically, our people don't have any any knowledge whatsoever. Okay, the scriptures talk about that they're wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Okay, but the thing is that we have the knowledge. Okay, and once you have this knowledge, okay, of uh, wanting to do the right thing and to serve the Lord the right way, okay, you realize that, you know, uh, this world that we're fighting against is a it's a tough world, okay. Shalom to whoever uh, just uh, logged on, but um, this world that we um, we're fighting against, man, okay, is a tough world, okay. Once again, the, I'm going to continue on. Psychological trauma is a type of damage to the mind that occurs in a, is a result of a distressing event. Okay, our people going into slavery. Our people losing who they are. Okay, and, and becoming as heathens. Okay, it says trauma is often the result of an overwhelming amount of stress that exceeds one ability, one's ability to cope or in integrate the emotions invo involved with that experience okay a lot of times okay you you uh uh you you probably dealing with the fact that your your uh <laughs> your parents might not be there if your 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 if it is a parent there it's a single mother your mother you know probably getting over on you okay uh fucking you over um you may have uh, a situation where uh, you may have a woman that you 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 love or or, fa or friends and, and and so on and so forth that you love, and uh, they don't love you back like how they how you would think that they should. Okay, your woman probably ends up cheating on you. Okay, but then you come into the truth. Okay, all those things that she was fighting with. In the world, you know, it was it was cool, but then you come into this truth, and you gotta have integrity. You know, you gotta you gotta be a, you're going to see a lot of stuff when you come into this truth. Okay, Satan don't don't take coffee breaks, man. Okay, brothers always always say that. Okay, you may be in a situation where you may not have uh, money, right? And then you may need repairs for for a car, right? But then next thing you know, somebody uh, ends up stealing some shit from out of your car, or your car ended up getting broken into, or some you get a flat tire or whatever the case may be. But you don't got the money, and it's just like, well, we know where it's coming from. It's coming from, you know, 
the the Lord don't, nothing happens unless the Lord says that He wants it to happen. But Satan is is fucking with us, you know. And and for us, we have we have the the the, the name of the Lord, which the scriptures talk about that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. So we supposed to run to that tower. That's our defense from from off of the bullshit that's in this world. Okay. So continuing on, it says trauma may result in a single distressing experience or re re recurring events of being overwhelmed that can be precipitated in weeks, years, or decades as the person struggles to cope with the immediate circumstances eventually lead into serious long-term negative consequences okay that's going back into the world okay which is all vomit okay it's all trash now it says emotional and psychological trauma can be caused by one-time events such as an accident injury or violent attack especially if it was unexpected or happened in childhood right a lot of a lot of women they have uh been touched they have been fondled with okay and and been fondled with by family members okay or somebody that they know so a lot of these women are are, are aren't in their right mind anyway okay it's and, and then you know the scriptures talk about you know wisdom was given on to them and so on and so forth it says ongoing rel relentless stress such as living in a crime ridden neighborhood so like like if you live in a, a neighbor a, 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 a city which a lot of these cities have a lot of just sad news every fucking where man okay you turn on the the the, the um the TV, all it, all you hear is is, is sad bullshit. Oh, out here in Baltimore, oh somebody got shot, somebody got killed. You know, you you see blue and uh, red uh, sirens on on TV or outside your house. You hear sirens all all the time. Okay, hear gunshots, and we coming upon a time where those gunshots are going to be really prevalent out here, man. You're going to hear a lot of people getting killed. And people ain't going to know what to do. Okay, it says battling a life-threatening illness or traumatic events that occur repeatedly, such as bully bullying, domestic violence, or childhood neglect. Right? Your mother or, or father wasn't there to love you. Okay? You, you, you don't know who, who, who really loves you. Cause people out here don't love themselves people out here fighting their own battle so america is traumatizing okay and it's another one it says common commonly overlooked causes such as surgery especially in the first three years of life the sudden death of someone close a lot of people that can be traumatizing too if you don't understand death okay hey you can even understand death and it still could could, could mess with you Okay, it says the breakup of a significant relationship. You come into this truth and that woman that you 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 may have wanted, okay, ends up leaving you because of the truth. Because you you're not the same person anymore. It says, or humiliating or deeply disappointing experience. A lot of people turn their back on you because you come into this truth. What the scriptures say? Okay. That, that, you know, people are going to turn on us for the Lord's namesake. Especially if someone was deliberately cruel. Okay? Um, I'm going to just read this little part and I'm going to um, get to some verses. Okay, it says, Coping with the trauma of a natural or man-made disaster. Which is what this America is a man-made disaster. Okay? Because we're, we're the needy. Okay, and, and and the people who, who do have the money can change the problems just like that, man. Okay, but they're not going to do that. Even if they tried to change the problems, the shit is still fucked up. 
It ain't gonna be. It ain't gonna be nothing that's gonna be able to change this bullshit. Okay, the fact that you gotta see fucking uh uh the the LGBT community, that's that's traumatizing. Okay, Edomites being over over us, that's traumatizing. Okay, um the fact that you you know even even like like for example, you have this um daylight savings time, right? The the time going back that's traumatizing too. Cause you 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 was on a certain schedule, but now you're not on a certain schedule, no more. You know. Uh, it says even if you weren't directly involved in the event, um, yeah. So it say coping with the trauma of a natural or man-made disaster can pre present unique challenges even if you weren't directly involved in the event we wasn't we wasn't directly involved in the event of our people going into slavery okay it says in fact while it is highly unlikely any of us will ever be the direct victims of terrorist attack uh plane crash or mass shooting for example we're all regularly bombarded by hor horrific images on social media and news sources of those people who have been and you see them people, they all crying and stuff like that. It's a lot of crying. Okay, and people nervous systems are, are breaking down. Okay, you got overdoses from, from from celebrities. Okay. Because America is traumatizing. Okay. Once again, the word trauma, okay, is deeply distressing or disturbing experience. This is a, a deeply Dark, this is a dark, dark nation, man. Okay, a dark nation. Now we have the the key to escaping, you know, as much as we possibly can. The the hell that we're we're in, man. Because this is all around us, man. Okay. Um, this is First Peter. Uh, five and uh, seven. It says, "Casting all your care upon Him, for He cares for you." Okay, so we supposed to cast all our cares onto Yahweh by Simiawasa. Okay, but it's hard for for somebody to to do that. Okay, if you if you're not in the right spirit. Okay, you know this this hell. We're gonna we're gonna always fight fight these demons man until we get up out of here okay some people are fighting you know uh extremely hard demons harder demons than like you may have somebody who, who may come into the truth may have, may have killed somebody or may have you know somebody may have been a homosexual or something like that you know it may have been uh um what is it uh fondled with you got men that get fondled with you know but somebody may have may have uh, uh, been through these situations, okay, and um, it it may be hard for them, you know. Um, this is uh, Matthew eleven and twenty eight. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are he heavy laden. Okay, let's see what this word heavy laden says. Okay, to place a burden upon to load, to load one with a burden of rights and unwarranted precepts. Okay, oh, here you go. It says spiritual anxiety. Okay, spiritual trauma. Okay, spiritual trauma. Okay, so it says, uh, come on to me. All ye that labor that's doing this work and are heavy laden. So if you're in this truth, man, you gotta know you got you you got some type of trauma that you're dealing with or or, or dealt with and you still fighting. It says, and I will give you rest. So we supposed to rest on to your how about some y'all shot. Okay. And and when you when you think about how bullshit everything is, man, in this world. Right, you you going through through like let's say a traumatic experience or something like that, right? Just just think about 
all the things that are good, you know? Like, we know that, that Esau is the, the, the so-called uh, white man and that he's the devil, okay? And we don't want to, you know, we, we, we hope that, that we're going to be uh, away from this, this hell, okay? Um, we know that we're not African Americans, okay? We know that according to the Bible that what we what we following is the truth, okay? Scriptures talk about, uh, um, you know, love one another as far as, you know, the brothers and stuff like that, you know? Dwell, dwell with the brothers, man, okay? So so this is our rest, this is our comfort, okay, from from the bullshit that's in, that's in this world, man, because it's a lot of bullshit. It says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, okay? Learn these scriptures, man. Okay, meditate on these scriptures. Okay, think about them day in and day out. Okay, when you wake up, when you go to sleep. Okay, even when you're when you're in your sleep, you know. Think about it. Okay, now you could very well be in a situation where you know you may be in your sleep, and it may be, or you may even find it hard for you to sleep. But when you you do go to sleep, you have a certain situation where your 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 uh your mind or your spirit, okay, um, is is still because the the word psychological goes back to spirit, or yeah, psychology or psych, it goes back to spirit, okay. So when you sleep, your your spirit, okay, is still, you know, basically gone, okay, and and. Basically, by we us, because we're spiritual people, okay. This is a, a a spiritual life that we're living, okay. We don't have spiritual moments. We're spirits that's living a human life, okay. So when you sleep, your spirit is is still uh going, okay. Your spirit, you know. Sometimes it does things unconsciously that you don't even know. And not, you know, I had it happen to myself. You know, some, you know, you end up, you know, crying in your sleep or something like that. And it's something that you can't control, you know. But that's where this scripture comes into play. Romans 8 and 26. Likewise, the spirit also helps with our infirmities. Okay. So whatever uh bullshit that we dealing with okay if it wasn't for us being in in the spirit okay we probably would have died a long time ago if first off the fact the lord the lord keeps the spirit on us to for us to even keep going anyway okay because america would have man this 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 place is really the shadow of the valley of death man okay it says likewise the spirit also helps with our infirmities okay uh, because we know what's going on. The scriptures talk about um, hope deferred maketh the heart sick. Okay, so when you have the the right hope, and you know that okay, the boss said that we got going on, Matt, like we're gonna get new bodies. Okay, we can't take these bodies with us into the kingdom. You know, so the fact that we know that the boy, the the stuff that we're going through right now is temporary. Okay. That means that our spirit is going to be able to help, you know, with, with whatever we face. It says, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the spirit itself makes, makes intercessions, okay, for us with groanings which cannot be uttered, okay? And that's whether it's consciously or, or unconsciously, okay? Your spirit... Okay, can can make an intercession for you when you're sleeping, man. Okay, during those times when you know, you know, you may not be able to let it out when you when you're uh, praying or when you're you know uh, just in your everyday life. Okay, people may see you and they may not be able to see the emotion. Okay, that you're you're holding back. Okay, but sometimes that those emotions because we're still people okay though they got to come out okay and we still you know our spirit cries onto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh okay 
And it says, and he that searches the hearts, which your heart is your mind, la'ab, in Hebrew, okay, it says, knows what is the mind of the spirit. So if you're in the right spirit and you know that this is a, a psychologically uh, traumatizing um, world, okay, and you want to please the Lord, okay, sometimes your spirit, man, to just cry out to the Lord, okay, and you won't even, you don't, sometimes you don't even understand what, you know, what's going on, you know, but it says because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of Yahweh by some outside. So our spirits, man, okay, is crying out. And Apostle Gabar just did a video about, you know, the, the fact that this is, you know, um, this is uh, basically slavery, okay? Our, our our minds are, are wanting, our spirits are wanting to get the hell, get up out of this hell, man, okay? The spirit that's inside of us, the, the spirit that's inside of the elect, man, okay, wants to get out of this society man okay even though the flesh right now we're in, we're here okay and we dealing with all the bullshit but the spirit that's inside of us wants to get out of here okay it wants to get into these new bodies okay that's what it talks about the uh <laughs> i want to try to get that scripture about uh the bones i believe it's talking about rejoice make the bones re rejoice or something try to get that scripture lord willing Oh, here we go. Uh, Psalms 51 and 8. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. <laughs> so our bones, you know, what's the, what to get up out of here, man. You know? And and guess what? We, we're going to. You know, we, we, keep, we keep going. It says, uh, take my yoke. This is Matthew 11 and 29. Take my yoke upon you. And learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And you shall find rest unto your souls. You ain't your soul ain't gonna find rest nowhere here in this this world, man. No matter how hard you try. Okay. It says, For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Okay. And this is Psalms 34 and 4. I sought the Lord and he heard me. And delivered me from all my fears. Okay. And and one of the greatest fears, man, okay, is you know that you don't get destroyed, man. You know, from, from the Lord. But guess what? You know, we we're in this truth, okay? Yeah, the scriptures talk about um many are called, few are chosen. The scriptures also talks about the Lord doesn't take pleasure in destroying, okay his people okay i believe that's in um the book of uh wisdom of solomon okay he wants us to to, to uh to to be you know live forever okay uh he didn't create death for us okay so if you could continue to push and you finish that course man okay you you could very well find yourself, man, in 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 short time, because Yahweh Shai is right around the corner, okay, being up on them 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 uh, chariots, okay, and when when you're when when the elect is on them chariots, man, that's going to be a beautiful feeling, man, okay, so far beyond anything that's that's in this world, okay, it's going to be worth it. Okay, it's going to be like those chains have been lifted off of us. Low willing and I'm of, of the elect. Okay, but it's going to be like those chains are, are lifted off of us. And now we're going to be able to serve the Lord without fear, man. Okay, away from our enemies. Okay, and one of our enemies is death. Okay, our enemies is ourself. 
okay because we don't want to go off to the lord we want to please the lord man okay so you know continue to pray man okay and have that right spirit you know wanting to do the right thing according to what yahweh bashim yahweh said for us to do man okay because this this world man it gotta go man okay this shit gotta go man okay because this shit is this shit is a, a a fucking uh uh you know it's i can't i can't even say it's a fucking sore thumb man because this shit this shit sore sore every fucking where man okay but that's why we got to cast out our, our cares onto the lord so that he can just uh deliver us from from this bullshit out here man okay so with that man i want to say shalom